What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today has been a very highly requested video. Today we're going to be covering how to do the fender cut on the Miata. And Michael has brought his Miata in today to be the demonstration car. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and jack the car up and take off the front wheels. This isn't completely necessary but it's going to make it a lot easier once you get the fender cut. All right, now that we got the car jacked up, what we're gonna do is basically take a tape measure and I like to measure two inches from the edge of the fender that's nearest to the door. So that means we're gonna stop our cut two inches from the end of the fender. So you can use a piece of tape or I'm just gonna take this tape measure and mark it with a Sharpie. And then basically all we're gonna do is use this body line in the fender and just cut straight across it and then stop at your two inch mark. So I'm gonna be using my air powered cutoff wheel. You can use a Dremel or any other type of electric grinder that you want. The fenders aren't very thick so it shouldn't be too hard to cut through. So luckily the Miata has this body line right here which makes it perfect to cut along and it actually makes it really easy to keep your line straight when you're cutting. So if you still have your fender liners installed there's going to be a bolt right here that we're going to need to remove that will allow us to push this bottom portion of the fender in and get that look that we're going for. All right, so once you've gotten to this point, all that's left to do pretty much is you're gonna take this here, push it in all the way, and then you just need to find a way to secure it. On my car, honestly, all I use is zip ties, but you might wanna use a screw or something that'll be more permanent. Occasionally the zip ties do break and I have to replace them, but not too often. You'll actually see there's a hole in the fender pretty much right where the fender lines up as you push it in. So you can use that hole and it'll line up with the hole in the fender and you can secure it that way. Also, if you still have stock fender liners in your car, you might wanna remove it completely or what I just did was cut it off right here, even with the fender cut and this will make it easier to secure in the fender well without anything in the way. So this is the zip tie method I was talking about. I basically just drill another hole next to the factory hole and it makes it really easy to just slip a zip tie through there and secure the fender this way. I think it's really easy, it works well, and if it ever does break, it's easy to replace. So now we're just gonna repeat this process on the other side and then we're gonna wrap this one up. One of the great things about this mod and why I like it so much is that it's so easy and quick to do and doesn't cost you anything and it looks pretty sweet. So I hope you found this video helpful. Like I said, a lot of people had been asking how to do it. So I figured I would go ahead and make this video. But that is gonna do it for me on this one. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome week and we will see you in the next one.